Hello everyone, welcome back for another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Review. Here I am, actually on location in Hawaii, uh, in Waikiki Beach. And uh, before I left, about 10 days ago, um, I got my hands on this special issue, which is the USS Voyager Sternbach concept. And of course I have a magazine and a ship here, so I'll uh, kick that aside. And then uh, we'll look at the goodness that lies inside of the magazine. But uh, it is a beautiful, sunny, hot, warm day here in Hawaii. And if you can probably tell behind me, there are lots of people. Uh, there's that guy bending over right there, but don't pay any attention to that. And uh, there are other people kind of out here and just a lot of stuff going on. So and now I'll just get to the magazine. All right, and there it is, the special issue of the USS Voyager concept model. And as you can see, there's a nice image of the ship on the cover with some basic information down here. Of course, it is Intrepid class, the concept version. Uh, the time was 1994. And of course, as I said, was designed by Rick Sternbach. Now, for those of you who are wondering right off the bat, this was one of the original concept uh, designs uh, for the USS Voyager for the Star Trek series of the same name, Star Trek Voyager. So, and you open up the magazine and the format pretty much remains the same as all the others. Um, of course, again, considered Intrepid class, designed by Rick Sternbach, uh, was in Star Trek Voyager and was designed in the year 1994. And you turn the page and you have an excellent image of the ship there with some text down here at the bottom. Not much, but there's a little bit. And then you get the centerfold showing you where the various nothing is. <laughs> Just a big splash page there with some text, uh, basically telling you what their thought processes were, where they were heading. And you get a little concept art here, which is always nice, as well as some text about the whole design process. Um, and more concept art and more text. and a big splash page of, com of concept artwork there. And more concept art with more text. With an appearance by the actual model that was built. And some CGI stuff here, which I think was done after the effect, after the fact, maybe, possibly. Oh no, this was actually done back then, so. And of course, more artwork there. And even the infamous, uh, infamous arrow wing shuttle makes an appearance down there at the bottom of the saucer, which would, interestingly enough, make it onto the, uh, the finalized Intrepid class, uh, even though we never actually saw the ship on screen separated from the saucer. So, and there's another image of the ship there, top and bottom, with some more text. And that pretty much concludes the magazine. That's it. So this is basically just a behind the scenes thing. It never appeared in any episodes or movies or anything like that. It's just a concept model uh, that never got past the production process. So the magazine concludes with an image of the ship on the back there. So now, without further ado, I'm going to uh, show you the goodness that is in the model that I have nearby. All right, and here she is, the USS Voyager concept model. Not too bad, um, a lot of detail here. And as you can see, the registry number is different. The name is the same, USS Voyager, but the registry number is, instead of being NCC 74656, it is actually NCC 73602. So that's interesting. Uh, the ship itself is actually very thin and I quite honestly like this design a whole lot. Um, I don't see how this thing would have survived in the Delta Quadrant for seven years. Uh, it doesn't seem very maneuverable. Then again, neither did the other Voyager, right? The main one. Um, the nacelles here are painted, so that's a bit of a bummer, uh, which seems to be kind of like the trend 
going for these concept models. Um, I think the, uh, what was the other concept model we got or some of the other things? I know the Enterprise F uh, from Star Trek Online, both of those have painted in the cells. Um, and I think some of the other ones, uh, they also have painted in the cells. Um, and I think the Titan, the USS Titan also had painted in the cells. So, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer when they don't put the clear plastic, but that's okay. Um, they did, however, put them in the Bassard collectors there. So the red you can see is actually plastic, it's not painted, which is always nice when they do that in my opinion. Uh, primarily the metal portions consist of the saucer and a little bit of the secondary hull, but mostly the secondary hull is all plastic on the top, but metal down here at the bottom. Uh, and of course you have your Starfleet stripe and pendant down there and some registry information at the bottom of the saucer and uh, kind of gives you a nice idea of what the, show, what the ship feels like and looks like. Of course it fits in your hand about that much, so it's not that big, um, you know. And of course, on the nacelle struts, you can see the font that says, barely, because the camera won't focus it, but it says United Federation of Planets, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of detail on this model. The deflector dish looks pretty darn good. The underside looks good. And there's the outline of the arrow wing shuttle. So that's always kind of cool to see. Um, interestingly enough, that's one of the things from this model that was carried over onto the normal Voyager, uh, including the, the triangular looking saucer section, which ultimately became more rounded. But uh, nevertheless, a lot of the features on this model are actually ended up on what they settled on. Uh, it's a very nice model and a very nice ship. Um, my only gripe is that it's a little bit small. I wish it were bigger. And, um, you know, it would have been interesting if producers of Star Trek actually decided to keep this model, maybe not as the Intrepid class, but maybe as something else. Um, it would have been cool to see on screen, but uh, nevertheless, we didn't. And, uh, well, unfortunately, we didn't. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice model, and I would definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of Star Trek Voyager, this is one for you. If you like the concept art and the concept models and stuff like that, uh, then this is for you. Uh, if you want all of Starfleet ships, then this is for you. If you don't give a damn and you just don't like anything that has to do with Voyager, then <laughs> avoid this one. But I think it's one worth having. Uh, again, these concept models, uh, these concepts are probably one of the uh, great things about this collection now, 150 something, well, 100 and some odd, over 140 issues in this collection, is that we get ships like this or models like this that have never, ever, 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 ever been made in any form before and probably never will outside of this collection. So once this collection finally ends, and hopefully that'll be soon, um, not because I don't like them, I just, running out of space here <laughs> but um so yeah if you have any questions about this model or anything drop me a line down below i'll be happy to answer you uh of course when i get a chance um but i just wanted to share with you a little bit show you this model on a different setting in a, in a different setting um so yeah that is the ship highly recommended you can find it on the eagle moss website or if you're a subscriber, well, no, even if you're a subscriber, you have to order it through the web shop. It is a web shop exclusive. And I think it'll run you about $20, $20 $22 to $24, give or take, um, give or take there. Um, so it's definitely worth your time, in my opinion. And uh, despite its size, it still is very worthy and uh, very much, very much cool thing to have. So yeah, guys, until next time, live long and prosper. And uh, I'll catch you guys back. I'll catch you guys when I'm back home in Southern California in a couple of days. Um, but for now, I'm gonna try something different. Instead of me showing you what this model looks like on the stand, uh, I'm going to just
put the model up close right now and show you. And then I'm gonna be quiet and just kind of show you the scenery of the setting on this beach where I'm at. And I'll let you take that in and end on that. So, all right, so guys, live long and prosper and I'll catch you guys out there soon on the next time.